What's going on everyone? My name is Nath Jennings and welcome to episode 2 of FL Studio Basics. Today we're going to continue on from episode 1 where we learned how to download the program, how to download samples, how to use them and how to do a basic EQ. But today we're going to learn how to sidechain and automate. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sidechain something. So basically what a sidechain is, it's basically it, it lets uh, the kick punch through the sample or the sound and whatnot, right? So basically a sidechain is you, you've got the kick and then the sound will bend around it according to however how how big the side chain is or what side chain you choose to put on. So think of it, you want the kick to be like the focal point when you're making a club track, you know, you want the kick to be felt. So if you don't side chain things, the other sounds will lay on top of that kick and they'll squash them, they'll compress the kick and then it'll all just start to muddle up. So basically a side chain will put the kick here and the sounds will be off and then they'll bend around the kick to the other kick and then so on so forth, which I'll show you um, very shortly when we get into such a So the first thing we've got to do is we're going to grab a song that we want to work with and put it into our worksheet. As you can see on screen, I've grabbed I Don't Care by Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran. And the first thing we want to do before anything else, we want to stretch it and fit it to tempo of our 128 uh, BPM, which as you can see up top, we're working in 128. So basically, there's a little drop down thing here. I don't think you can see it in the video because it doesn't export, but it's a little white drop down thing pops down. In the, uh, over the right side, it says fit to tempo. Click on that. This screen should pop up here and then press 75 to 150. That'll line it up to 128 because 128 is between 75 and 150. So while that does that, basically what we're going to do is I'll show you how to side chain um, a song so then you can start working on it um, as a bootleg, as a remix, whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we double click on it and we bring up this sampler like we did last time. Do double click. We're going to add it to a free mixing track like we learned in episode one. So top left corner of the sample. Click, you can't see that I learned from the last export, but it comes up with like a white box. Um, click on root to free mixing track or control L if you like shortcuts. And it'll bring up the mixer box or the mixing table here. So basically a, a stock side chain in FL Studio. It's called Grossbeat. Um, as I said, you won't be able to see it here, but it's up, should be. It's just called Grossbeat. So look for Grossbeat. It'll come up. It looks a lot like this. It's got a lot of buttons on the side and it's a little bit complicated when you first look at it. But basically, there's a there's a setting called side chain right here in that bottom left corner. So as you can see, it comes up with the lines I was talking about. You know, you want kick and then you want the sound to pop up after the kick. So as you can see, if we right click on this line here, it'll make it straight. So it'll shorten the side chain, yeah? So it'll be kick and then sound, kick, sound, kick, sound. Um, that right there is a basic, basic side chain stock FL Studio. Um, so now if we listen to the song, it's like, it sounds like bending. And that's, that's good, that's a side chain right there. So if you put a kick under that, it'd be big kick and then the song would keep going. So that there is the most basic side chain you can do. Very simple, very easy, it's very effective too. I used to, like when I was younger, I didn't know what a side chain was. So when I was making remixes when I was growing up, everything was so muffled and all like cluttered up because I didn't have stuff bending around the kick. So it all just like compressed and sounded like shit. So now we know how to sidechain really easily, we want to automate our sidechain. Like I said at the start, automation is like a switch. So we want the sidechain to come on and off whenever we want it. So basically when we go back up to our mixing track, so as we learned in episode one, this is on uh, channel five and our effects over to the right. These uh, knobs here, they're like switches. Everything can pretty much be automated, all right? So all you gotta do is right click on this knob here on the mixing track. And it says, you can't see it again, it'll say create automation clip. So you go down, it's about halfway down, click on that. And then when you go back to your worksheet, it'll be this blue bar here, right? So this is your on and off switch. If it's up, it's on. If it's down, it's off. So if we have it down right here and then we right click to make new points and then we put it up, it'll go off, on, off, on, etc, etc. So I'm going to just loop the intro so we don't get copyrighted so you can hear it. So as you can hear, as you can see the automation there, it's um, off, on, off, on. So yeah, that this is it's just a switch. Very handy so when you're like making a remix, if you want to keep some of the original parts in and you don't want any effects on it, this works on everything. If you're EQing, which I'll show you very shortly, just a quick EQ with a quick um, automation. So if we listen to the intro of this song, It'll be no side chain and then side chain. I'll make the side chain a lot bigger so it's more noticeable. So we just take it back to how it was. We just drag it down. So that's as simple as click and drag on these lines in Grossbeat. That'll change the side chain. So if it's too much, all you do is 
I grab it, pull it up, etc. Et so you just got to find the perfect, you know, uh, amount. Just keep listening to it. Put your kick in. Off. And then. And then on. So you can hear the side chain. Off. So if we add a kick under that, you'll hear what I mean, all right? So we'll grab a quick, quick kick. If we uh, make that side chain a little bit less, so it's uh, not as, that was, that was too much, you know? It, it wiped out like the whole song. But if we have the kick um, without the side chain, so that sounded nice. It went around the kick, you can hear it, it gives a nice, it's, 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 it's cool. But without the side chain, it kind of clashes. So you can hear um, like the original song, the kicks uh, clashing with our kicks. That's why we want a side chain. So now we'll listen to it again. No kick, no side chain. I'm going to go kick and side chain. And then no side chain kick. And then back to the side chain kick. So that's what a side chain is. That's the, like the most basic side chain. I would recommend buying a plug-in uh, called Kickstarter, right? So I'll show what Kickstarter looks like. It's Nicky Romero's side chaining plugin. It is so handy. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. It comes up with like, what is that? Four, eight, 12, 16 different presets already to side chain. So as you can see in this line here, the kick, sound, kick, sound, so on and so forth. Um, it's probably one of my favorite plugins, one of the most useful plugins. See, Gross Beat's just a little bit of a mess around. Um, but Kickstart again, if we uh, delete Gross Beat um, like this, it's all the same, you know, you can automate absolutely everything. So kickstart, you just choose how big you want the side chain to be. We're gonna go tight. It's even, it's even it's got tight, nice and tight, classic chain. We'll go tight, right click on this knob, create automation clear, it'll come up with our new switch. We'll get rid of the gross feet one. Here's our new kickstart switch, we want it off. Then we want it on, just like that. So no kick. So that right there is an, like the automation with the side chaining. If we want to do the EQ like we learned in episode one, go to the mixer, just up here again, go to parametric equalizer two, do what we did, one under two, that'll take out the low end, make a little hill, and then go over to here, right click on the, uh, the circle, the knob, and then make an automation clip halfway down on the screen. Once again, comes up on off switch. So we want it off when the, we want the original song to play. We want to take all the low end out, so our kick is absolutely going to power over the original track. It's going to sound heaps bigger, more clubby. Uh, nothing's going to clash, no frequencies are going to clash, and the side chain's on, so it'll just sound really nice. So, if I show you without these EQs, so basically, um, or if, if, without the automations and the side chaining stuff, I'll turn them off and you'll be able to see the difference. So that's what a side chain is, and that's what automation is. Automation is basically just a switch on and off. That's probably the most basic way I can teach you how to side chain and automate. You can automate literally everything. So, for example, as well, volume, right click on the knob. Create automation. Everything with a knob, basically, like 98% of things in FL Studio with, with knobs can be automated. So just right click, create automation, it'll be an on off switch. You can do it gradually as well, like volume, you can have it down. And depending on how you make your lines, it'll like, it'll go with it. So look, uh, for example, we want it to just slowly build up with the volume. And that's what it does with the line we drew. And that right there is how to side chain and automate your things on FL Studio. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you want to learn next. This is the Absolute Basics with Nate Jennings. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.